Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to another special edition of Topic of Discussion. Today's topic, a very serious news show. More specifically, Nick News with Linda Ellerby. Oh my god. Um, I don't know where to begin with this thing. Okay, so as a kid, I watched a lot of television, as you may know. I did not, however, watch a lot of news. I still don't really watch a lot of news. That's something that should probably change, but probably won't. Uh, I really just don't want to be depressed with the news. If anything's really important, I'll hear it from other people, to be quite honest. However, Nickelodeon has taken it upon themselves to provide kids with, what is it, like a half hour or an hour of news that, you know, c covers a very usually harsh topic, um, and put it in their sh channel. Um, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking, but this has been going on for, like, decades now. This is Nick News with Linda Ellerby. Um, I have no clue who Linda Ellerby is outside of Nick News. I don't know if she did anything else. I don't care if she did anything else, because I do not like her. Look, there's nothing necessarily wrong with trying to open kids' eyes to some of the more harsher realities, but come on, you're you're a kids' television network. It's it shouldn't be your responsibility to make kids more cultured, and it shouldn't be your decision to decide, you know, if this particular news story is too adult for the kids that you're trying to aim at. Because I don't know if you know this, but Nickelodeon skews a lot younger than Cartoon Network. Um, you know, I don't know if talking about things like HIV is the right choice for you guys. Um, it just, it really seems out of place, and I didn't watch it. All I remember is the commercials that were really depressing all the time. And get, get with me on this, guys. It cannot be a special edition if it happens every time. I understand that the show wasn't a regular show, but not every edition of Nick News could be special edition. That doesn't make any sense. And no one I knew watched this show. Did any of you guys watch this? I didn't watch it. I couldn't care less. To be honest, as a kid, I couldn't care less about the news. You know, I, I, uh, you know, I was more focused on, you know, my life and stuff. And I, I didn't really want to be brought down with the harsh realities yet. Because there's no point in doing it to young kids, and I mean, like, you know, it, it's it's more or less up to parents how much they want to tell their kids about the news, especially more... I hate this school so much, I'm sorry if you could hear that. Um, but, uh, especially at the more grisly facts, I, I mean, you know, things like uh, President Obama being elected, the, things like the president being elected, like, news stories like that, that's fine. But, I mean, <clears throat> it's like... Hey, I'm trying to watch some cartoons here. I, I really don't want to know, you know, like the harsh, the harsh life of kids born without eyesight or something. I don't know. It, it's just, it's a bummer, man. It's not good for the network. And I'm, I'm not trying to be callous here. I'm not trying to be like, you know, no one cares about this stuff because people care. But the people who care are teenagers and adults. You know, the people not watching Nickelodeon. So. I just, I don't get it. Maybe, maybe it's a, a network mandate um, that, you know, this network has to have X amount of hours of educational material, because I know some networks are under that, but I think that's just, um, I think that's just, like, the cable channels. I, I don't know. I mean, if it is a mandate, that is really stupid. That, that mandate thing is stupid in the first place. Um, but I... I I don't know, and, and just, it, it just, it, I have, I have, I don't have much memory of, like, the actual thing, but I do have much memory, much memory, I do have a lot of memories of just, like, watching the commercial and just being like, oh, come on, I don't want to watch Nick News, it's on Cartoon Network, you know, like, that was pretty much my reaction. Oh, Nickelodeon, you try to do so much good, but when you just have things like the Worldwide Day of Play, I just switch to Cartoon Network, like, well... That's really all I have for you. Sorry I don't have too much more. I, I didn't watch the show, really, uh, growing up, because why would I? I don't know. Maybe if some of you watched it, let me know what the appeal was. Like I said, some news stories I could understand, I could get behind, but even still, it's kind of news. As a kid, I didn't care about the presidency because I couldn't vote. And, yeah, now I can vote, so I actually pay attention. You know, but when you're a kid, you know, Nick has their Nick kid... Nick, yeah, 
kids pick the president thing, but you can't actually pick the president as a kid, so why do you even care? Who care? Why bother? Hmm? Um, <laughs> but, but like I said, most topics were just kind of a little bit, like, too grisly for, for my taste for kids. Um, no, and not necessarily even just, you know, like, topics that would be inappropriate, just topics that are boring, you know, like, there are some, I, I don't, I can't think of, like, oh, here, here's one, I don't know if this is an episode or just a topic on the website, but it's like, kids honor Dr. King by doing community service. It's like, that's nice and all, but I, I really don't want to watch other kids do community service, like, at least not as a kid, you know, and again, that's what Nick News is aimed towards, so... I'm speaking mostly from my memories as a child. Now, maybe I'd care more. Maybe I'd watch this, but probably not because I have these horrible memories burned into my mind of just seeing these stupid commercials for horrible things um, and it not being the next new episode of Drake and Josh. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> okay, so we're on to some housekeeping here. I released the first part of the two-parter uh, Finn the Human, Jake the Dog. My That is the worst episode of Adventure Time as voted by you guys. Um, although a lot of you seem to disagree with that, so maybe the, the voting statistics are off. Um, I'm sorry if they are. Next time I'm going to go with more of a traditional poll on a website that I'll post. Um, or a forum or something. And, you know, you'll vote there. And the, the answer will be very concise. Uh, but, however, I would like to say that... But, however, I would like to say... Um, that those of you who don't really see it just through J just through Finn the Human, wait till you get to Jake the Dog. Things things go a little bit differently in that episode. Okay. Um, other housekeeping. Uh, I want to thank Wiley1080 for suggesting this topic. Uh, and you should also go check out his channel. There'll be a link in the outro. But I forgot to really link him when we did the My Little Pony review. Uh, it was a little bit crunched for time, but I, I went back and did it now. And you should all go check out his channel. He does Let's Plays of Humongous Entertainment Games. Uh, or, or he did Let's Plays of Humongous Entertainment Games. Um, recently he's retired, but we'll see if we can't talk about that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Five Guy Rules, out. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like me. Like this video if you, well, like this video. And comment if you have an opinion on anything that I just said. Oh, and I also have a Twitter. Follow me at PyGuyRules. I usually respond to any comments or questions that I get. PyGuyRules, out.